This is a Ryok channeling session done by the ocean, done by the water. Thank you all so much for coming to interact with me in this way. It is my pleasure to be able to speak to all of you about the upcoming date in your calendars known as Halloween. Understand that Halloween in many ways marks a significant event within your ancestral human history. That is what you understand to be the destruction, the fall of Atlantis. Now, during this time of Halloween, a particular space opens up in your collective consciousness that acts as a portal, an access point for this Atlantean civilization where you can much more easily connect with other incarnational selves you are simultaneously having that are existing in the now, in what you call your past, in that civilization known as Atlantis. Should you begin to meditate on Halloween with the intention of connecting to these previous Atlantean selves that you have likely had. The idea is that it will allow for you to begin to contact them so you can trade information, share experiences, share wisdom, and allow for them to act as guides in your life, and it will allow for you to act as guides in their lives. Understanding that both of your societies, which you call your current human society in relationship to the United States as well as the Atlantean societies are paralleling one another. They are in many ways sharing similar energies, similar themes. And when you take advantage of this access point that is making itself available to you on Halloween, it will allow for you to download perspectives of clarity in relationship to many of the paralleling themes, your current society in the United States, as well as the Atlantean societies are having together. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that there are certain events that are taking place in your current society that very closely parallel the idea of Atlantean themes. Two of these major themes are what you call artificial intelligence, and another one is what you call open contact. Understand that both of these things existed in Atlantean civilizations, although it was in many ways different than how you envision it now. During these times in your past, of which you call the Atlantean societies, open contact was a very, very widespread global situation where extraterrestrials from a variety of star systems that were in resonance with the vibration of your collective consciousness were in many ways working with what you would understand to be some of the world leaders as well as some of the major civilizations and different classes of population. In addition to this, these extraterrestrials in many ways were not as high vibrational as the extraterrestrials that are making open contact with you in this current civilization, which you call your 21st century. Understanding that is where the open contact scenarios are different. In addition to this, this widespread open contact that was occurring in the Atlantean times was not something that happened for all individuals, but rather, as I have said, it happened for specific groups. With that being said, in your society, your 21st century, the idea is open contact will be widespread. It will not be reserved for specific groups. Now, we are going to go a little bit further with this. The idea of artificial intelligence in relationship to Atlantean society was the following. It allowed for artificial sentience to be programmed into crystal complex technologies. These were in many ways similar to what you understand to be crystal cathedrals. These would be structures in many ways that were built completely out of crystal that would in many ways parallel some of the major cathedral-based 
architectural designs that you have in your current times. The idea is these cathedrals would be made out of crystal and individuals could travel in there and when they would sit in these crystal cathedrals it would allow for energetics that represented the higher self to then broadcast into the idea of the crystal cathedral and the idea is that many individuals could sit in these crystal cathedrals at one time and greatly receive a variety of downloads a variety of communications a great deal of information from the collective higher selves of all individuals present this in many ways would also allow at times for soul downloads and oversoul downloads and soul group downloads and oversoul group downloads to also come through in these crystal cathedrals this is how artificial intelligence in many ways was done during these times. You will find that the way artificial intelligence emerges in your current society will be in many ways much more relevant to the major technological themes of your current society. Understanding Atlanteans heavily utilize crystalline technologies as their main way of producing what you would call high vibrational miraculous technology. In many ways your technology is much more electrical in nature in a direct way where theirs was much more crystalline and electromagnetic in nature as well as a type of technology that was more greatly drawing upon subtle energy your technologies are beginning to draw upon subtle energy in relationship to what you understand to be quantum computing understanding your quantum computers in many ways are beginning to also mirror that idea of the atlantean technology of beginning to draw upon non-physical energy etheric energy as a source of power now that you have understood these themes of how the United States in that way and Atlantis are connected we wish to now open this to a more global perspective understanding it's not just the United States and Atlantis that are paralleling each other there are other civilizations in your current society networks that are also linked with Atlantis understanding Japan in many ways also has strong Atlantean connections understanding that which you know to be South American countries such as Peru also in many ways has Atlantean connections but not in a direct way in terms of technology and open contact as the other countries we have mentioned do now with this being said we are going to give you a visualization to begin to focus on so you can more greatly play with this opening energy during your Halloween time. The idea is to imagine the concentric circular sigil that represents the city blueprints for the Atlantean capital. The idea is to imagine this in your mind's eye and to imagine that you are standing in the center of these concentric circles. Standing in the center, imagine that a light from the center of your earth is emerging upwards from the ground you are standing upon and rising throughout your body. Imagine that this light beneath the earth is linked to a major crystalline network representing what you understand to be the database storage for your Akashic records. And the idea is as you stand in this concentric circle in your mind's eye and you allow for the Akashic light energy to beam upwards into your imaginative body it will allow for you to access the Atlantean aspects of your Akashic so you can more greatly connect to your previous selves within the Atlantean civilization some of these previous selves may have been humans some of these previous selves may have been extraterrestrials some of these previous selves may have been unique earth-based species altogether that are no longer as prevalent in your common society and your current version of earth the idea is that you will connect to whatever is most beneficial for you in these meditations and it will allow for you to form a very powerful telepathic link to this other self and you may find that the other self will become a very powerful direct guide to you and you will be able to in many ways share dreaming experiences with these guides where you may find that Atlantean 
memories, Atlantean themes, Atlantean secrets and experiences and abilities may begin to manifest for you in your dream world. I thank you for your attention in this interaction. It has been my highest excitement to be able to interact with all of you and to deliver this message. We look forward to seeing all of you soon. Our unconditional love to each and every one of you individually and collectively.